But it's also, unfortunately, uh, mm. Homelessness Awareness Day. And so okay. that is, um, you know, we always have to be mindful of those that are less fortunate, those that will not have a turkey in the oven or a chicken in the oven, and those that will be spending their mm. Thanksgiving maybe, you know, on the streets or in a shelter today. And so uh, we just want to be mindful of that. Yeah, I found this sure. fascinating, mm. a couple fascinating articles this uh, past week. Um, the UK has opened their first food waste supermarket. Wow. What? Their first what is that? food oh. waste supermarket. So just to give you some stats before okay. I kind of, you know, set up all the context. So in Canada, we waste 31 billion dollars worth of food every wow. year. No way. 31 billion. One billion dollars. So while we're all sitting around the table, we probably want to be mindful of So eat of everything that. on your plate is what Meg is saying. <laughs> and that is up 15% wow. from four years ago. Wow. So that is, and so just some context also, um, they say that, you know, even using conservative estimates, the, the, uh, this paper shows that 200,000 inhabitants of poor countries for a year with nothing more than food that gets wasted on European airlines every every year. So 200,000 inhabitants of poor countries would be able to benefit from oh, two, okay. fr from your, the waste of uh, a Euro European airlines each year, which wow. is amazing. So let's go back to the supermarket that has opened yeah. in the UK and also Italy has passed a new law for something similar. What they're doing is they're creating a space where all of these retailers can bring their waste and then you would be able to purchase it based on how much you can afford. Wow. So it would be, you know, maybe wasted uh, bread or vegetables or anything that they would throw away. There was this one picture of just this bin, like a garbage uh, full bin full mm -hmm. of hummus that had yeah. just been wasted, had been thrown away. So this is a place where they have created, yeah, the people can go, they can uh, pay as much as they can, and mm -hmm. uh, and be able to buy this. You now know the, sorry, the yeah. food you say waste, like it, it's still good. It's just ex yes. excess. Yeah. So I mean, okay, okay. Yeah. So like I this think. is stuff that they would have excess of okay. that they would normally. And I don't know about you guys, but I remember when I was living in Toronto, I'd pass by some restaurants or so forth, and they would have bags just full of food oh, outside. Yeah. And sometimes you'd see We've homeless people that. rummaging through it because. Yes. I mean, there are laws. You have to be able to throw things out right. after a certain my time, friend, right? One of my friend's sons started working in a grocery store, and he couldn't cope with how much food they throw yeah. out all the time. Just even, like, bread, right? Like, if it's done that day, it could still so good the next yeah. day. It's just not as fresh. Right. But they have to throw it out by law. And you know why that is? Because people are suing companies, yes. right? Oh, it wasn't as fresh yes. or whatever. So because uh. of the litigious nature of our culture, where everybody wants to, like, get rich with a lawsuit, that they that then they have all these strict rules about what they do with food yeah. and then all these people are going hungry it makes no sense i love this i wish Isn't there could be idea. like i wonder how they're protecting from lawsuits but i wish mm. that we could find a way through that mm. here in north america because yeah. yeah, i can't we'll stand it on yeah. here do, do you think it'll catch on here like are we i'm trying to be nice are we too uppity yeah <laughs> Is that the word you're yeah you know of? like some people think oh well, no i'm too well, good for seconds places like second harvest where you can go you know and they and they do have surplus food as well so i think there are things like that i don't think it's anything as big as a food waste supermarket mm -hmm. like they have in the uk but i think we're getting there you know as we talk about great initiatives for yeah, yeah. people in need 541 eatery which is literally just up the road from us in hamilton has been doing a great job of reaching out to those less fortunate let's take a look what could we do that would um, be a for-benefit business, mm -hmm. that we could create revenue that would sustain ministry? And everything we looked at, we kept coming back to, well, there's poverty in the area. How do we affect poverty for positive change? Uh, and, and, you know, what's the first thing people need in poverty? And, and it kept coming to the basic necessities of food and uh, shelter and uh, so affordable housing and food. And uh, so we were looking for a place that's close to affordable housing. Next door is Kiwanis uh, City Housing. And uh, being a great location for a restaurant, we had decided after about a year that we would start a restaurant. So there's also a button system here right. as well, right? So part of uh, having affordable uh, high-end food is that we wanted to have a, a system where we're not a soup kitchen, we're not a mission, we're a restaurant. So you can come in and uh, just like the places that we had visited in Chicago, where you can go in, you get gourmet soup during the day. Thank you, Ed. It's, thanks, Ed. It's the same soup at night, but it's at an affordable price. 
Uh, we wanted a, you know, a pay it forward system or a way that you could have currency to assist somebody. So that somebody can come in and not say, oh, you know, I can't afford it or order mm -hmm. something you know, cheaper on the menu. This way they could come in and they have a way that they could have what they wanted with the assistance of buttons. So the buttons, there's, right now it's at four buttons a day, so you can come in and, and that'll enable you to get a sandwich or a breakfast or you know, have a coffee, a supplement what you're having. So you know, there's not a separate table for them to sit at or something uh, or to say, oh, I need this way they can come in. Mm. They can take the buttons, they can use them. They, so they take from one jar and they put in another. I absolutely so love cool. that outreach and just the, the spirit behind it to get to have community and to make sure that people have dignity even mm -hmm. as they're being helped. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we want to feel good and yet the other person feels humiliated yes. by the help.